question 230 x into 3y dx plus 2x dy plus 8y raise to 4 into y dx plus 3x dy equal to 0 the given differential equation is in the format x raise to alpha into y raise to beta by m y dx plus n x dy plus x raise to alpha dash into y raise to beta dash into m dash y dx plus n dash x dy equal to zero so in such questions we can apply uh, the uh, rule 6 and f our integrating factor will be in the form x raised to h into y raised to k so I am not going to check whether the differential equation is exact it's better to check whether the given differential equation is exact first otherwise we don't have to find an integrating factor so anyway I am assuming uh, it is not exact and let's find out the integrating factor so rule 6 we are applying rule 6 to find the integrating factor so if x raised to h and y raised to k is integrating factor we uh, let's multiply throughout uh, with x raised to h and y raised to k so and group dx and dy terms together so we have 3 into xy so x raised to h plus 1 into y becomes y raised to k plus 1 that is the first dx term then the other dx term is 8 y raise to 5 so we have 8 x raise to h into y raise to k plus 5 so here y raise to 5 so dx plus 2x so here it is 2x square so it becomes 2 x raise to h plus 2 into y raise to k Sorry. 2x square dy so 2x square becomes 2x raised to h plus 2 uh, so like what we are doing is we are just multiplying with integrating factor okay multiplying with integrating factor so 2x raised to h plus 2 into y raised to k mm. Sorry, uh, 2x square uh, y raised to k plus 3 here it is dy term is 3xy raised 8 into 3 so 24 24x become x raised to h plus 1 and y raised to 4 so y raised to 4 is y raised to k plus 4 dy equal to 0 if you have any confusion in this step please refer the previous questions so we have done similar questions multiple times that's why i am just running through the steps so if it is if this is integrating factor this equation will be exact so we are going to use the property dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x of exact equations where m is this and n is this m dx plus n dy format so this is the condition uh, this is the property of exact equation this is the necessary and sufficient condition for e differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to zero to be exact so we are going to use that to find h and k so that imp so we will just find dou m by dou y first dou m by dou y equal to 3 into k plus 1 into x raised to h plus 1 into y raised to k plus mm, 8 into k plus 5 raised to h into y raised to k plus 4 okay and dou n by dou x is equal to 2h plus 2 into x raised to h plus 1 into y raised to k plus 24 so 24 into um, h plus 1 dou by dou x h plus 1 into x raised to h to y raised to k plus 4 
so since dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x we can comparing the we can compare the comparing the coefficients okay comparing the coefficients we have uh, so 3k plus 1 equal to 2h plus 2 so we have 3k plus 3 equal to 2h plus 4 similarly we have this um, so since 8 k plus 5 equal to 24 h plus 1 we have uh, we can write this as k plus 5 is equal to so 8 into 3 so 3 h plus 3 so these two are equations so we this simplifying we get 2 h minus 3 k or minus 3 is plus 1 equal to 0 similarly this gives 3 h minus k sorry minus 2 Five, 3 minus 5 is minus 2 minus 2 equal to so let's solve these two equations we will have h by sorry h by minus 3 into 2 is 6 plus 1 7 equal to k by 3 minus minus 4 which is 4 equal to 1 by minus 2 minus 2 plus 9 so we have h is equal to 7 by 7 which is 1 k equal to 4 7 by 7 1 so our we have we got our integrating factor as x raised to h into y raised to k becomes uh, x into y so our integrating factor is x y now if you apply the values of h and k here in this equation uh, we will get our required exact equation we will just copy that into a new page So we have we found out our h is equal to 1 and k equal to 1. Now we will apply those values here. So we have 3 into x raised to x square into y square plus 8 x y raised to 6 so dx plus 2 x cube y plus 24 x square y raised to 5 dy equal to 0 so we got our differential equation exact differential equation since we found out our h and k using the property of exact equation this equation will be exact you can check if you want now this is our m and this is our n so solution for an exact equation is given by solution is integral m dx y is constant here plus integral terms in n without x dy equal to a constant so this becomes integral 3x square y square plus 8xy raised to 6 the terms in n without x becomes 0 so since every uh, two uh, n has two terms and both terms has x in it so this vanishes so this is equal to c so integrating with keeping y as constant we have 3 y square x cube by 3 becomes x cube y square plus so this becomes 8 x square by 2 into y raised to 6 is equal to c so we have 4 so this cancels into 4 so, or we have x cube y square plus 4 x square y raised to 6 is equal to c now if you take x square y square common we have x plus 
4 y raised to 4 equal to c. So, this is the final solution. Yeah, okay, again there is a miss. So, in the textbook, the answer given is the power of y here is 3. Rest is same. So, here it has to be 2 only. If it was 3, this the other part would have messed up. So, I think that is a printing mistake. If the if you find any mistake in my step, please do comment. I think this is the final answer. X square y square into x plus four y raised to four. So these are the step we used rule six to find our integrating factor. We got x y as our integrating factor, and these were the steps. And this is the solution to question two thirty. If you if there is any mistake. Uh, in any of this step, please do comment. I will correct the video and post update it. Thank you.